name is uh, Juliana Kaduya. I live uh, in the one world. Um, it is the day it is old. I work. I'm the councillor for Ligongo City Council, and I'm the deputy mayor. Yeah, I saw that my area is lacking in development, so I wanted to stand for the people so that I can help them to develop the area. Uh, the source of inspiration is the uh, Honorable Patricia Kariat. Uh, she's a courageous woman and she's a brave. Uh, it is very good to be a female leader since you know that a female is a mother. So you know a mother when maybe even in the family, when the husband is sick, when the children are sick, the one who is responsible is the mother. So it's very good and very nice to be the leader as a female person. I have diploma in education. So professional, I'm a teacher. So after teaching, I just decided to join politics. That's when I stood as the ward councillor for Slim the One Ward. Then after winning, we went to the chamber, which is the city council. So I was chosen and I was the only chairperson who was the female. In our chamber, there are six women there, but I was the only chairperson and the big chairperson because I was the chair of finance committee, which means all the chairpersons were under me. Then I stood there, I was there for two years. But before two years, after one year, after winning one year in 2016, in October, all women councillors were called to go at the ICC where we know we were chatting, everybody was saying the successes or maybe the challenges. Then there we formed our caucus. It is called Councillors Caucus, Female Caucus. Now it consists of all councillors here in Malawi, female councillors, but we formed an executive committee. The one who is leading and the leader for there is called the president of women's councillors caucus in Malawi. Unfortunately, we stood two people and I won. As of now, I'm the president for councillors women caucus in Malawi. Then after two and a half years, each and every council, mostly city councils, were supposed to vote again for the mayor and the deputy mayor. Then I just thought of standing at, as a deputy mayor. I was competing for female councillor, then I won as a deputy mayor for the Yongo City Council. As I'm speaking now, I'm the deputy mayor for the Yongo City Council. Mainly when we were campaigning, I can say I didn't face more challenges. Uh, and when even I went to the chamber, I didn't face any challenge. But when now when we are having the elections for the mayor and the deputy mayor position. That's where I, I faced a lot of problems because I was told not to accept. You know, what happens in the chambers when you have in those elections? Someone will mention your name, like propose your name, and the other person will second the name. Then you, yourself, you have to accept. So what happened was somebody proposed my name and somebody seconded. Then when it was my time now to accept or not, I was told don't accept. Then I said, okay, I won't. Then when the mic came to me, I just thought, you know, I prayed. I was even shaking at the time. I was like, this is my thing, I should not accept. So if I accept, what will happen to me? Then I just accepted. Then I stood, then I won. But after winning, I was receiving calls from outside. Hey, when you're coming, you should find your own way to come out from that side. When you come out, you will see what is that going to happen to you. You better stay there because when you come out, you will see so, sort of things. So, you know, I there were some people who actually helped me. They hired the police for me to come out from the chamber. Yeah, then um, I was, I had four policemen who escorted me to my house. I just did some calls from my house. Then I went somewhere I was hiding. Actually, it was on air, but the deputy mayor you know, is on hiding. Then it, there was a time when um, there was a function at the ICC. <coughs> the mayor was that side of the council. So I was the one who was supposed to be there because uh, 
um, the good for me, and there was the Brazilian faction that they come to. When I went there, the there were some people actually the cadets. They came inside and they chased me. They say I'm not supposed to be there. Why? Because I didn't abide by what they say. Don't accept. When I accepted, I I created an enemy. That's when I I faced challenges, human challenges, not development challenges. No, but it was like human challenges. Yeah.